Now, the captains of those machines were all wartime heroes. Distinguished flying crosses were all over the place on their chests and DSOs. We even had a Victoria Cross holder there, Leonard Trent, Wing Commander, VC. The only survivor of the squadron of Venturas. He alone got to the target. The rest were all shot down. He was shot down to them. And he got a VC. And it was a very solemn business flying these aeroplanes. They did, after all, carry nuclear bombs. So it was not a job to be taken lightly. Everything about Marham was big. And one of my duties was to take, as each crew, or some of the crews, went out to the uh, aircraft, I'd be handed a buff o uh, OHMS envelope to give to the captain of the crew. Secret, or stand for it. I came to realize, after a while, that this envelope contained the secret code. So if a code word, a certain code word, was received by the crew while they were airborne, then it meant the balloon had gone up. The Third World War was actually starting. This was Armageddon. And the, uh, on the seat of that code, the envelope would be opened, and the target information for the crew would be <coughs> revealed to them. And they would be carrying two nuclear bombs, and they would go off, and uh, that would be the end of civilized life as we knew. Interesting, therefore, to note that on the front of the buff envelope, in one-inch high red letters, was stamped, Open this envelope carefully and return to the stationery stores for reuse. Pass the money, even on the face of arm again. <laughs> However, as time passed, uh, I was encouraged to go back to the aircrew board, and get a second opinion, and sure enough, this time I passed through suitable for pilot training. I got through for good attendance at the war, I think. <laughs> and I entered into flying training. And uh, my flying training, the basic flying training, was conducted on this lovely aeroplane, a piston engine cross, built by the Percival, Percival factory, 550 uh, BHP engine, two pilots sat side by side. It was, in my view, the finest basic trainer the RAF has ever had. And then I'm prejudiced because I trained on it and I survived the course. 